Diablo 4 is one of the hottest and most anticipated games in the dungeon crawler genre, and the Diablo series itself is the standard bearer for the genre. Of course, like anything connected to Activision Blizzard nowadays, it's not without controversy. I won't go over the entire mess here as it's another subject, but needless to say, it's got many fans seeking alternatives to get their hack, slash, and loot fix. Thankfully, they're in luck. There's an abundance of dungeon crawlers that are either available now or in development, many of which are just as good as, if not better, than the Diablo series. You got the Torchlight series, the Binding of Isaac, Hades, Titan Quest, and Path of Exile to name a few. Another game that one might consider checking out is called Rose of Alchemy. Created by solo developer Jabari Ali, Rose of Alchemy looks at its own touch to the genre. I checked out the demo. It's in an alpha state, so things are very rough around the edges. Still, it shows a lot of promise at its early state. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it. And with that, welcome back to the Shark Tank. That's right, even though I gave you one this past Sunday, I'm giving you another one. Because it's Wednesday. And that's when I usually drop these things. So that's right, you're getting two episodes this week. Ain't I great? For those new to the channel, this is my preview segment where I take a look at a game's demo and give it a grade based on how likely I am to buy it if it's released in its current state. I'm basically judging it by what's in front of me. You take control of an alchemist named Asha and your task is to find a Philosopher's Stone. It's your usual story about saving a kingdom and defeating an evil warlord, only this time the hero is a woman of color, which is something you don't usually see in fantasy titles. You have three classes to pick from and the full game will promise nine. Each class has a default style of attack. In addition to your attack, you can unlock dozens of magic spells, but you'll probably get a few of them at most in a demo. Magic is assigned to one of four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. The cool part is as you unlock spells, you can combine the elements by casting magic one after the other. For instance, Casting fire right after casting earth makes a meteor, and casting water and wind creates frost. The full game will no doubt have even more combinations, and it will even have spells which will interact with the environment. In addition to the magic, you can pull off combos, dodge, and even hold down the attack button for a charge attack. You can even combine attacks with magic. It almost feels like something out of an action game with what you can do. Your character feels overpowered even when you first start out. Of course, the enemies are still tough and you do have to grind, but you never feel like you're in danger of getting your ass handed to you as soon as you start the game. And of course, like most dungeon crawlers, you'll find new loot to equip along with hidden items. There are also puzzles to solve along with a crafting component. So what grade will I give this? I think I'll give it a B-. Many of the game's features aren't implemented. In fact, controller support is still in development and there is not much of an options menu. Also, the graphics seem to be a bit on the primitive side. However, this is an early alpha demo from a solo developer. The mechanics are in place and there is a good sense of what the gameplay will be like, even if some of the effects need fine tuning. My only real issue is that the map seems a bit confusing, but even that seems like something that will be addressed. Even something as simple as adding an in-game map, or even a mini-map, would work. Other than that, it's fun to experiment with the different spells and the combat. The controls are responsive and they work for the most part. So hopefully the developer will take the time that he needs to in order to make this game something special. As it is now, they got a great foundation, so let's see how they move ahead going forward. So that was Rules of Alchemy. I um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, one thing I didn't mention during the demo is that there was no save feature. So if you got killed, then that was pretty much it. Um, but hopefully, the full game will feature a save function. Um, it, this is still stuff from early on development. So um, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff, especially if you're following the developer's Twitter. Or if you're um, tuned into his Discord. Uh, but anyway, one of my goals for this channel, of course, is to feature indie titles along with um, what's called middle shelf titles. 
And um, if you don't know what that means, um, it, it's still like mainstream release, but they don't have the budget or the attention that your usual um, AAA release has. Um, think of stuff like uh, Innocence, A Plague Tale, or maybe um, Lords of the Fallen, stuff like that. But anyway, if you know of such a game, then let me know in the comments. Um, whether it's there's a demo, a beta, or even if it's out now in early access. Um, I got two I got two series. Um, this is the Shark Tank where I look at game demos. And I also have another one called Trailer Takedown where I take a look at game trailers. So again, if you know such a game I should feature, then let me know. Um, speaking of the Shark Tank, um, because how um, October starts this weekend, and of course that means Halloween, these next several episodes of Shark Tank that I'm doing for the month will be featuring horror games. So if you want something scary, then you're going to want to be plugged in. And on that note, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon. That way you'll be the first to know whenever I put out new content. If you like what you see, then please consider hitting that thumbs up icon. Again, these are small clicks for you, but they help me out immensely as a um, smaller channel. So I know this was supposed to be up Wednesday, but I had some stuff to deal with. But like I said earlier, you got two, you got two extra episodes of the Shark Tank. And of course, um, there's going to be my video um, this weekend. So again, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and on that note, um, one of the reasons I focused on this game this week, Rose of Alchemy, is because its developer is a black person. And another thing I want to do is I want to uplift more black voices that are in the gaming industry. Um, so one, so one thing I'm doing toward that is I created an all-new playlist called the Black Game Developer Spotlight. Um, it's small right now, but I'll be adding to it on a regular basis, including the video you're watching right now. There's some very cool stuff coming from um, Black developers, um, and if you look at the playlist that just popped up on your screen, then you can check out some of the stuff that's in store for you guys. But in the meantime, I hope you guys, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and until next time. I'm out here 51,000 G, can't folk.